Good morning. So in this video, I'll be talking about actual making of the rivets. Now the tiny little triangular um, pieces of metal. Um, and what I've done is I'm using the busted links either that have broken whilst um, in the process or when I was using um, uh, repairing my mail. Oh, got a bird go away. You can hear in the background. Terrible. Okay, so what I've got is um, a link that was busted. I had to cut it off. So I'm just getting a normal pair of pliers and cutting off the ends that have um, that are wider. So it's just just a normal um, round link. Now having a round link, and I want to use the metal, is a bit bit painful. So I'm just using a a normal pair of pliers and straightening the wire going around. Very green of me, I know, but this actually works really well. The, um, I've tried just hammering link. There you go, so I've got a relatively straight piece of wire there. Um, hammering it, I got very uneven edges and everything like that. I didn't like that. Um, and because there's so much waste, um, I was able to make these links. Okay, so basically I'm going to make right angled triangles. So I'm just cutting from piece to piece. And as you can see, probably out of focus, there's one. Now, to appease your partner, try and capture these as well as possible. And so here, I'm going, and it's going straight into there. So when you cut it, cut it, there's a lot of energy given off and it just springs everywhere. So putting it against cloth works well, and so it doesn't rebound off, say, the wooden table. And you try and be consistent. Don't try and make a, a sharp angle because you'll just get a smaller rivet. You want something with a little bit of size, but you don't want it too long because then it doesn't have the structural integrity to actually punch through and peen over. Actually, having a long rivet is quite painful to actually use. And then you, as you can see, oh, you might be able to see, coming all the way down, you can see that there's a little pile of rivets. Now, after you've done this, don't use a little glad bag or anything like that. I, I use my Ye Medieval Eclipse tin because it seals really well and I don't have to worry about it, um, the links perforating and going through a hole or something like that. Okay, thank you very much. So the next lesson, or next YouTube lesson, will be actually um, how to rivet a link. I know, exciting stuff. Okay, bye.